I've got Liz Solo on the phone. Liz, congratulations on your Stomp and Tom Award at the ECMAs this year, 2018. Woohoo! Yay! Thank you so much, Colleen. It's <laughs> awesome. Wow! How does it make you feel? I guess it makes me feel kind of humbled. Um, you know, pretty happy to be uh, recognized like this. Also, it's really kind of interesting. It's a little bit full circle in a way. Our very first ECMAs was 25 years ago in Halifax. And we were a young band, the first Liz band, running around the hotels and going to all the shows. And we were on the go one night and racing from one event to another in the hotel. And we ran into an elevator and practically smacked into Stomp and Tom. Well, wow. so I got to meet him, and he was such a legendary figure, even, you know, then in person, it almost like came off him, you know. Um, he was so supportive and kind to us, and um, as we were getting out of the elevator, he told us to keep on stomping. Wow. And so it's very meaningful to me also that it's this award, um, just he was such an icon of independence, which is something that means a lot to me. So, you know, I've never received an award from the ECMA before, uh, so it's very meaningful that it turns out to be this one. Wow. And, I mean, you've been on the go for in the music scene and the art scene for close to 30 years. I noticed a comment on, on one of the Facebook posts uh, about you receiving the award that, that, that it should be called the About Time Award. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Uh, that's sweet. I think it's very sweet. Um, I guess uh, sometimes in the awards game it has felt very much like uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is uh, always um, great to be uh, recognized and nominated, as many of my bands have been throughout the years. Um, I guess the one thing is that I work in collaboration so much in music. So, you know, it, where, I, where I am today as a musician and in the community is in large part due to my collaborators, of which you are one, you know, and all my other bandmates through the years. You know, Mike Kane, obviously, and Marcel, mm -hmm. the girls in Trixie, Charlotte Reed, and uh, Jenny Nash. You mm -hmm. know, these uh, these are people, uh, Marcel Levandier, I meant to say. These are people that I am thinking about right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been very busy, not, not just as a musician in the music scene, apart from all the art that you're doing and the online work, in the music scene, you've been more than a musician. You, you've been, you know, you've organized uh, festivals. You've promoted the scene for years and years and years. How important is it, do you think, to, you know, try to keep the scene alive and in different incarnations? Well, obviously, you know, it was my, like, one of my number one priorities throughout my years. You know, it's critical, I think, to have accessible stages, accessible resources, um, and to be in a community where generations communicate between each other, uh, which I'm really happy to say was a large part of my sort of coming of age as a musician. Uh, and I got to grow up at an exciting time when all kinds of things were happening in St. John's and on the East Coast, and it was a, a real sort of heyday, I guess. And one of the reasons for that was the accessibility of um, stages and resources and mentors. So things have changed so much since then. I think the, the you know it's it's really important to be seeding new ideas and young artists. And you know I think the value of the artist has really gone down across disciplines in the last ten years or so. So. You know, it's something I think we really need to be thinking about together um, is the valuing, not just in word, but in, you know, action and in dollar, the contribution that artists make to uh, the quality of life mm -hmm. for everyone. And you've been an independent artist in, in many ways, you know, which is not always an easy thing to do, but you're still steadfast at it, uh, you know, um, what do you have uh, lined up for the next little while, Liz? 
Um, well, I've got a big show I'm working on with four other women through a company I run with Jenny Nash uh, called Roles for Women. We're doing a big show at the factory in June mm-hmm. for short one-act pieces featuring artists from across the country, including Wendy Smallwood from St. John's, myself, Catherine Faulkner from Vancouver, and Tina Pearson from Victoria. And we're going to be trying to stream that and make sure that, you know, we can also make it accessible to people who aren't in Toronto. Yeah, one thing I wanted to say about independent, you know, for me, um, being trained the way that I was in the time that I was very much in a sort of punk rock ethic during the tail end of the collective theater movement in Newfoundland and Labrador, it sort of became apparent to me that independence was the key to artistic freedom. You know, the minute you start aligning with institutions or um, getting involved in shady contracts Mm -hmm. or or deals, um, you really lose your autonomy. So it's something I want to encourage in people to, you know, it's almost like you don't have any choice anymore, however that said. Mm. <laughs> you kind of have to be an independent these days um, as those networks no longer exist. But mm-hmm. So I'm also up in Toronto now, and, of course, the next gig I have is um, opening uh, for Joel Thomas Hines' Canadian release of his latest album, and I'm playing with the Soft. Excellent. And you're coming up here. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> I am so excited about that. Um, so, and what I would love for you to do, because mm-hmm. I can't make it to the ECMAs. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in the middle of developing this project, and it's also a pretty expensive venture. Um, so, I was wondering if you would pick up my ECMA for me and bring it up to me when you come to Toronto. Absolutely. I'd be totally honored. I'm That's so lucky to be able to, to know you like this and to talk to you on the radio and bring up your award. <laughs> I'm the one who's honored, and it'll be cool then to actually have this uh, ECMA in my hands at last. Excellent. Well, congratulations from all of us here at CHMR. Thank you so much. Very I'm well deserved. Happy. Thank you so much for, for you have been calling you've been on the air here uh, from I think from the very first recording that you put out and probably even before that. <laughs> so you've been a regular. Well, that's amazing that CHMR too. You know, speaking of the independent spirit, that you guys are there and you're playing local music. You're playing independent bands. You know, I think it's. It's amazing that you're there, and uh, way to go, CHMR. Awesome. Thanks so much, Liz, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Can't wait. <laughs> All right. Take care. You too.